a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for God on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your, spirit. your spirit. As we still celebrate mm -hmm. Easter, this is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Let us call to mind our sins and prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You died out of love for us. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You rose again to life out of love for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You share the Holy Spirit with us so that we may share your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those who were pleased to make new, you were pleased to make new in holy baptism, may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. 
The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Come to him, a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Uh, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes from the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in, in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. As we might know, the Easter season gives us an opportunity to reflect on the book of Acts for our first reading. Three weeks ago, we heard Luke tell us how the Christians got along so beautifully. They devoted themselves to prayer and instruction from the apostles and generously shared their material possessions so that no one was in need among them. As the community grew, so did the problems. The first Christians were probably Jews from around Jerusalem who spoke Hebrew or Aramaic. They were culturally and traditionally different from converted Jews who lived in other parts of the Roman Empire and who spoke the common language of the day, Greek. They are referred to in today's first reading as the Hellenists. Besides the cultural difference, there was also economic difference. Widows in those days were entirely dependent upon the community for their basic needs. The Hellenists, those who spoke Greek, complained that their widows were being discriminated against. The apostles felt their role was not to give out food, but to stay focused on prayer and preaching. They solved the problem by creating a new office in the church, the diaconate, the problem solvers. 
This is a short list I'd like to share with you. St. Stephen was the first to die a Christian martyr. St. Philip, like St. Stephen, was one of the original seven deacons, and Philip converted that Ethiopian eunuch and baptized him, thus bringing Christianity to the Horn of Africa. St. Lawrence of Rome, Lawrence was in charge of the money, and the prefect of the empire said, bring me the treasures of the church. So Lawrence brought in the poor and the sick, the lame and those who suffer. And for this, Lawrence was slowly roasted alive on a giant gridiron, all the while maintaining a sense of humor, telling his tormentors, turn me over, boys. I'm done on this side. St. Francis of Assisi, many seem to forget Francis was a deacon and never ordained to the priesthood. Francis is still the first recorded recipient of the stigmata. St. Ephraim, one of our great Eastern mystic, poet, hymnist, and more importantly, a doctor of the church. Ephraim gave us some of the most beautiful and timeless verses that we still use in our liturgy today. And then there's two guys whose names are almost impossible to pronounce, and they were assigned to St. Augustine. They're noted for being the ones responsible for urging St. Augustine to write down his thoughts instead of keeping them in his mind. Where would our church be today without that? And then, of course, there's Reggie Cardinal Pohl. Cardinal Pohl was not a canonized saint, but he was certainly made of saintly stuff. He stood up to King Henry VIII and wound up living in exile because of it. It's said that he came within one vote of being elected pope in 1550. He was one of the few modern cardinals who was not only not a bishop, but he was not even a priest when he was added to the College of the Cardinals. Now, these are just a few of the problem solver servants. Ordinary men doing extraordinary things. You might feel free to research a little bit more while we're under confinement. But there's also some to unpack in our gospel today. Our gospel reading puts us at the Last Supper with Jesus and his apostles. Jesus knew that the apostles' world would soon be turned upside down. In spite of repeated warnings, the apostles were not ready for what was going to take place once they left that upper room. So he gave them some last words of wisdom. Do not be troubled. Do not be afraid. Just trust in me. What an order. In spite of Jesus' words not to be troubled, they were devastated after he was arrested and put to death. If Jesus' words at that time did not give much comfort to the apostles, they've been giving comfort in times of suffering to all the rest of us for the past 2,000 years. Jesus describes to them why they should not be troubled or afraid, because there's a better life ahead for them, and he was going away to prepare a place for them so he could be with them forever. He told them there were many dwelling places in his father's house. Sometimes the word dwelling place is translated as mansions. Now, we have to be careful to understand just what Jesus is saying here. Too often we interpret his words in a materialistic way, thinking of multi-million dollar homes that we'll have in heaven as a reward for being good. Some even picture a garage full of cars and motorcycles and toys, a pool in the backyard, of course, with a waterfall, and a wine cellar in the basement fully stocked, plenty of servants to take care of our every need. Well, this kind of vision reduced 
happiness to sheer materialism. That's not what happiness with God will be at all. Dwelling place puts emphasis not so much on a building or a structure as the act of staying or dwelling. Reading further on in John's Gospel, we learn that the Father's house, where Jesus is and where there's many dwelling places, is really to be understood as the experience of communion with Jesus and the Father, being able to share in God's glory. There'll be such joy that it's greater than anything we could have possibly known in this world. Paul tells us, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has anyone even thought of the wonders that God has prepared for those who love him. What's ahead for us is beyond our understanding. Now, Philip asked to be able to see the Father. Philip was thinking, as we often do, that somehow God is playing hide-and-seek. God is hiding somewhere, and if he would only show himself, we'd be happy. Well, God's not made of material things. He can't come out of hiding because he's not hiding at all. He's all around us, but we can only know him through a faith that fills our minds and hearts. And Jesus has pointed that way of faith out to us. Spending some extra time, because of the coronavirus restrictions, on spiritual exercises and visualizing in prayer, the thought of a compass came to mind. Now, a compass always points north. I don't understand exactly how magnetism works, but I know if I follow the way it points, it's not going to mislead me. And I don't understand God perfectly either. But if I trust in Jesus, I know that if I follow the way he points, he will not mislead me. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, one more thing. This reading, this reading makes me think about what God is like. And there's something else today that makes me think of what God is like. It's mothers. Now, I don't know about you, but my mother has always thinks the best of me, even when I do some boneheaded things. My mother always encourages me, lifts me up, makes me feel love. I think mothers are the best example of what it's going to be like when we meet God face to face. So today, especially, do something nice for your mother. Show her how much you love her. Together, let us stand and renew our baptismal vows. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God and the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. I do. And all his empty show? I do. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now let us bring our prayers before our loving God. For all deacons in the church, and for all others who minister to the church and the world through selfless acts of service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peaceful resolutions to the challenges that face our world, such as hunger, poverty, climate change, and especially the coronavirus pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peaceful, for mothers, grandmothers, aunts, and for all who have been mothers to us, those who are li living and those who have passed on to eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For healthcare workers and all who are caring for the needs of those who are suffering from COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those whose names are written in our book of prayer intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all of our sick, especially Elaine Metzger, Diane Zarconi, Jim Bowersox, Jack Van S, Joe Farrell, and for those all over the world who are suffering from the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for those who have died, May they be drawn into the Father's dwelling place, especially La Lorraine Dunlap and Shane Walker. And for Esther, Nancy and Lawless, and her one-year death anniversary, we remember this week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of love, your people cry out to you in need. Hear our prayers which we voice in the name of the one who is the way, the truth, and the life your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of the faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him, spirit of love, come give us the and brothers that this our sacrifice yours and mine may be acceptable to god the father almighty may the, may the lord, lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. church O god who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme godhead grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, 
our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Michael, the archangel, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert and John and Ramon, our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my, my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be parted, separated from you. Amen. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you 
and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may all mothers now please stand for a special blessing. O God, our every blessing comes from you, and you welcome the simple prayers of those who bless your name. Grant that these mothers may live in reliance on your goodness and in thankfulness to you. Give to them and their children the joyful reassurance that you are always near to protect them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.